these are books that have not had the opportunity to shine because there wasn't room in the old library to put them out and about for people to come and find on their own. And while we know that lots of things are on the internet, there's some things that are not, everything is not free. The modern central library is not just a warehouse for books or a place for computer access. It's actually about something much more interesting and that is it's about community. There is no other resource or facility uh, that the city provides that is common ground for all San Diegans. I mean no matter what your income level or your ethnic background or your interests or your age, this is accessible to you. This is a resource that, that is for you. Places where people can contemplate, they can sit, they can relax and think and imagine how powerful that is for a person to be able to sit and think. The technology available today and how easy it is to communicate on cell phone, you don't have to even work in your office, you can work at home. I think there's been a loss of the feeling of community in our modern society. The library is the one institution that puts that back. Big L and little L. Little la la la, left leg, lazy, what is he, lazy, It's one place where people can come and find their own way. They can come here, they can read a book, they can come here, they can do research, they can come here and find a job. Whether they are meeting with other individuals to discuss an idea, um, whether they want to talk about something going on in society and solve a very important problem that way, or perhaps they want to participate in something cultural. Creating a place that has a little bit of magic as well, so that when you think of going to the library, it's a, something you'd like to do. It's a happy experience. It's not a chore. It's hopefully something wonderful. That journey, just like a movie or any other piece of art, needs to culminate. There needs to be a celebratory moment when you arrive at the emotional heart of, of, the, of the project. And that's the reading room. That's, that really is the place of community. Geometrically, the reading room is a perfect cube, 64 feet on a side. It mirrors, in fact, the geometry of the lobby, which is also a cube, 64 feet on a side. It's glass on all sides and on the roof. Uh, that's why we needed the dome, to, to shade it. And by shading it with the dome and by carefully orchestrating the way the dome was made and the way the panels work in relation to the sun, and the travel of the sun across the sky, the room has a feeling of dappled light, the same kind of light that you might feel under a large oak tree, for instance. From a structural engineer's standpoint, it is not a dome at all. It's a series of three-pointed arches. It's eight sails, as we began to call them, that are supported on three points of the triangle. And that allowed us to create a, a dome-like object that could be tuned more carefully to the sunlight, to the, to the way the sun moved across the sky. You have this atmosphere of absolute wonder. A building like this has to function emotionally. If it doesn't function emotionally or poetically, the building's a failure, no matter how many books it holds, no matter how many times it doesn't leak. <laughs>